Hello y'all, welcome back. In this tutorial, we are going through different things and the first thing we want to do is to change the logo of our main interface. We want to call the main interface. That's a very big objective in this particular video. So if you run the main interface, you see that is Java logo that is appearing here. We want to change that to our own logo. You can see the Java logo. We want to change that to our own logo. So what we'll do is let's come to the constructor set. There's a method called set set icon image. You press enter. Now you create the object of the image class new image image icon. So we are going to pick the one that has URL because we are going to locate the that particular icon or that particular image. We are going to put the URL. We are going to identify or specify the URL that's the location that the particular icon belongs to. So we pick this option. So we have we are going to quote it because we are still going to put the URL the dot get. We are getting the image. So let's the image you want to use come to our project come to our image let me use the second image right click let's check the properties and get the url this is the url you can see just copy just put your cursor here Control c you can close this back close this back you can just close this so we're going to pl place the url here Control v now there's supposed to be an escape sequence here so we're going to back Put one more here. Put one more here. Put one more. Put one more here. Put one more here. Put one more. And that's done. So let us see if our interfaces has another icon apart from the Java icon. Let's run the application. You can see the icon has been changed to another icon instead of using the default java icon now the next thing we want to do is to code our cancel button now if you run this application now you can see that by the time you close you click on this close you can see close it closes we don't want it to close immediately we want it to give us a particular question do you want to close so that i'll be sure if really i want to close so i'll be the one to determine if i am closing the application all i need to do is very simple just get along with me so just come to projects come to projects okay sorry let's, let's come to navigator this j frame this j frame is the parent component that contains all other components it contains the j menu bar J toolbar, the split pane, and each of these contain other sub components. But it is this particular J frame that the close button is. So I'm going to right click, event, which kind of event is a window because that interview is a window, so it's a Windows event. So which kind of window event, window closing? So you click on this. So this is where you're going to put your code. So you have what we call say we have what we call the j option pane j option pane dot show confirm show confirm dialog it has how many parameters yes let's use the one that has four parameters the first parameter with the parent company that's this this that's this particular class you put this here the object the message are you sure you want to close that the message String title just title on the on the dialog page, the one that will ask the question. Do you want to close the title? You can put any title like uh, select one option, select one, then int. That's option type. Which kind of option is it? Yes, no option. Is it okay option? You understand know, different options are there. So let's just get along. Let's choose this one that has four parameters. The root pane is the is this root pane. Then we have. Uh, which kind of what's the message? Let's just quote this. 
are you sure you want to close then message type let's just code this select one then the last one which kind of option pin you can say j option pin which kind of dialog dot okay let's pick yes no option yes no option now this particular this particular code will result will return integer so we say int int i equals to this equals to this so let's just press enter so if bring your column bring your brackets if i equals to j option pin dot approve j option pin dot okay i forgot it's supposed to be yes instead of approve yes option that's yes option what is going to happen you open your calibrates here if i which means the result here is equals to j option pin dot yes option if, if truly it is yes what is going to happen then you do what are you sure you want to close system dot what system dot exit that's exit the interface that's the print component system dot exit press enter zero else what is going to happen if you pick no you return to the main interface means nothing will happen the interface will not close so let's test our code let's just run run file click on this you can see are you sure you want to close you can see the select one as the message type yes okay let's pick no run file are you sure you want to close no yes it still closes this have not the problem come to your design back now you come to your properties there's what we call default close operation the default close operation is what exit on close it will always exit that's the meaning so you choose do nothing so which means i'm now the one controlling this interface so let's go to the source code again let's run run file let's click on this are you sure you want to close yes it's working fine run file are you sure you want to close no you can see that it's now working very fine we are going to do the same thing to the exit button there's an exit button here just right click event action action performed so let's just control let's just copy and paste Control c Control v so let's just test that run the file so click on exit i sure you want to close no staying on that particular interface you can see that it's working very very fine so let me just close it now the next thing we want to do is to uh, code each of the buttons on my interface now when you click on this button it's supposed to bring another interface called the register customer interface when you click on this it's supposed to bring another interface called the staff registration interface so very simple all you need to do is to listen very well and look carefully and i'm going to do that in the next video thank you very much for staying with me bye bye